I always think it's funny in this generation Lexus that if the washer fluid is low, it comes up with a red symbol as if something's really going wrong and it's now got a low pressure, yeah, low tire pressure there. Not sure what that's there for because I pumped them up yesterday. That's very strange. Maybe because it's four degrees, that might have something to do with it, I'm not sure. So I was waiting in for a package on Friday that should have come. The second I leave the house, gets delivered. Now I've got to go to the post office to pick it up. Sick. Team bros in the traffic. Shout out to Matt. Look who we've got, who's just rung me. The legend himself. We're, we're chatting about some stuff for the Lexus, aren't we, lad? Oh, yeah. We're going to go and see him on Saturday. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to put some 621 and other parts on this whip to make it actually cool rather than having it completely standard. I think that's the idea, isn't it? It's going to look gangster. It's going to look gangster. So from the post office, we've come down to see the WRC body kit going on the Fiesta. Super excited to see this. Let's jump in the body shop now and see what it looks like. Jason's new van as well, check that out. Right guys, coming into Terry's. This is the car, you've already seen it. We've cleaned it up at JW Autoshine. And today is the day where it gets pretty much completely blown apart, ready for its WRC upgrade, so you've got the front bumper just down there. Um, you can see, uh, you had already have seen this um, on, my, on my Snapchats and stuff. Look how wide it is in comparison to the standard stuff coming over. These are the front arches, so you've got so much more width with everything just there. Absolutely huge. But this is the, this is the bit that really brings it home, right? So you've got the you know standard Fiesta sort of rear there. This is the whole panel that will be going on the back of the car. Look at the size, how big these arches are. Absolutely massive, going right up to the actual window, obviously to the back of the car, yeah. Absolutely huge. Really, really excited to see that. Are you excited, Jason? Hey, I'm well excited, I'm, mate. I, I'm so excited about this. Jason is doing all of the, would you say, preparation work? Making it naked, that's it. So blowing the whole car apart today um, so you can start fitting up and making sure that everything's pretty much happy with the car. But I, I must admit, guys, I am so excited to see these parts just put up onto the car because look at how wide this thing is going to be. Absolutely massive. After this, once everything's on the car, the car will actually be taken to uh, Ian at the works where all of the suspension and stuff is going to be widened to go with the body kit and the new wheels as well. But for the first sort of look at this car, as you guys can see, I mean, well, just look at this bit, right? This is the normal size, and all of that is how much wider it's gonna be. It's gonna be pretty insane. So this is actually a Maxton Designs um, full body kit uh, from Puma Speed. So the, ho the whole kit is Maxton Designs. <laughs> That at the back as well, but it actually has a full on WRC spoiler on the way as well, which should look pretty good. So, we're gonna go full on WRC with this one. That says a lot, that says a lot. A lot of people, especially below, will be wondering how much this sort of build would be. You know, it's gonna be quite expensive. It's an expensive kit, it's a legit kit as well. I think any brand you go for, if you want to go legit, it's gonna be. Um, very, very expensive. Maxton as well, you know, being quite, um, you know, an authentic, genuine sort of thing to put on your car. But really, really excited for this build. We're going to start blowing it apart now, I think, yeah? Let's blow it apart. Let's blow it apart. How are we doing under there, mate? Are we doing all right? Are you uh, <laughs> on your back hoping for no oh, dirt in the face? <laughs> right in the face. Yeah. So just taking these out, because um, they're not going to be needed, obviously, with it being so wide in a minute. The original, that, that bit doesn't need, a, that, you don't need that. We're, we're, oh, oh, cheers, mate, I'll have that. The inner arch there is not needed anymore, let's be honest, because, um, well, 
This is gonna go that way so much. <laughs> Cause that bumper comes straight off. Ting, ting. <laughs> don't need these bits. Yeah, don't need these bits. So that that can come straight off as well. Let's get let's get oh here we go. Big bumpers coming in. Where is it? Come on, we're gonna need we're gonna need another we need another guy for this. Yeah. Let's offer the rear bumper up to the rear of the car. Completely stripped the lights out, um, bumpers off as well, uh, the interior trim as well to get the rear lights out is off as well. <laughs> About 10 minutes and you've already taken most of the car apart. All right, let's have a look. First initial fit up. Look at, look at the size. <laughs> oh my, look at the size of it. Oh my God, look at, guys, look at the sheer size. Obviously, you know, yeah, you gotta fit this bit up part up, but yeah, that's gonna be really, really hard. <laughs> Alright, can we get a rear quarter? Yeah, sellotape it all up and oh mate, who's excited? I'm i I'm quite seriously excited now. Look how wide that is. Who are you excited? I'm well excited. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Right, so the side skirt came off so fast I got I didn't video it. Basically, used a trim tool to pull off the what double-sided glue double or whatever it is. Yeah, non -plate tape. And some um Rivety what pushing rivety doobries underneath. <laughs> Literally as easy as that. It's easy to take the car apart, isn't it? We've Sorry. it's a general consensus that yeah. it's considerably easy. A happy shopper toolkit could do it. Yeah. <laughs> right, are we offering a side panel up to the car mate look at that <laughs> that is hilariously big look at it god look how much you have to cut out as well this is all going the wheel arch is, is so going. much higher as well once this is gone we're going to fabricate a wheel arch yeah to then to then go to the original body of the car yeah and the wheels will be offered up so you don't actually have a huge gap in between all this. No, well, you would actually have in, still in at the works. In at the a works. Machine, uh, some a machinist, CNC machinist, to extend the axle to give us a very nice. Point. So extended axles as well are happening yeah. with yeah, the width of spaces, this car. No, spaces. so because you'd probably have to have like 150 mil spaces on this for it to work. Three hundred. Three hundred millimeters aside. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that is going to be so wide. 300 mil this way. Literally, I missed it again, but the side skirt came off very, very easily. Again, just literally stuck on with a couple of sticky tabs and then um, sort of the plastic pushing things. You guys know what I'm talking about. But they're off as well, side skirts. Just going to start on the front bumper. Headlights out, front bumper off, and then we'll see what the front bumper looks like because that is gonna look crazy front lights out pretty easy couple of bolts and she's good she is good perfect for changing light bulbs just that easy just casually bench pressing the front bumper then go for it mate bench press <laughs> that's how hard that was to get off wasn't it <laughs> that was a nightmare we'll just rest it on you there mate right see you later mate cheers for that <laughs> and that is how you get a fiesta bumper off is literally get under the car and, and pull everything and hope for the best grabbing the front bumper let's uh let's do a bit of mocking up shall we mate grab it everything is off the front so it should in theory wow wow that's a lot wider <laughs> Oh my, <laughs> look how much wider that is. Holy. Oh, tea lady's right. Oh, tea lady, wee. <laughs> that's, um, that's considerably wider than, than the standard. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're the one that has to cut this car up. Good luck, mate. <laughs> I'm not too happy about the gaps. That it's is in huge, isn't it? So guys, the WRC bumper has just been put on the floor there. We've got to still take the arches off the car to put the other arches on as well. We're going to leave that down to the body shop. What you're going to see next is probably um, stuff being fitted up to this car. I really want to come and revisit this car once 
um, at least the front end is on because I think there's a lot to be trimmed. I've been talking to Terry who's going to be cutting uh, the little bits and bobs off the front bumper and off the wings and stuff. If you did like this style of video, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the WRC 1600S that we're building. This isn't a channel car, this is Jen's car, but I have to follow this because it is something pretty awesome. Massive shout out to Terry who's doing all the body work on this car. To JD Royal Shine as well for cleaning this car and basically blasting it apart. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, check out fydapparel.com, cop yourself some FYD merch to support the channel. I'll see you all later, guys. Cheers. <laughs>